favorite thing about Demi on the court is just she's so intense. I, I love playing with people who have the same intensity as me and are on the same mission at all times. And um, just her being able to be um, kind of my partner in crime out there is just it's awesome. You know, playing with Demi is definitely something I'm trying to take advantage of just because I don't know if I'll ever play with someone like her again. She's just someone who's always going to have your back on the court. Demi is the one you want in the trenches with you. And uh, she, she's a loving teammate. She, she always has your back. And if you're, going, if you're going to fight, you want her with you. You know, what you see is what you get. It, uh, you are the ultimate warrior. You're the ultimate fighter. You're the ultimate team player. And, and that's all on display for everybody to see. But what people don't see is what type of team player that you are, what type of heart you have, um, how much you care about your teammates and in this program and this staff. You know, what you, have, what you have shown throughout, not just these last two years, but your career um, of just being all the way in. You did what I, th what I think everybody's goal, you have a goal for every player, and that's for them to be able to max out. Uh, max out their potential, max out their experience, and you maxed it out. Carol's got this attitude where it's, it's all about the team. It doesn't matter if she's out there or she's on the bench. It doesn't matter if she's in the hospital. It does not matter. She is all about the team and she will do anything to be part of this team. She is just an amazing teammate and friend. She is always there if you need help. She's the best locker room DJ we'll ever have. Carol's going to be remembered for having or being the strongest person on our team, mentally and physically. I think she I don't know anyone else who can go through the things that she's gone through and still come out swinging. Caroline C. Dub. You know, it's uh, past couple years. Uh, had the un unfortunate circumstances of get getting sick and and, and injured. You know, but I, I I think back on these these two years, and that's that's not a story of tragedy. You know, you get. Um, you get out of the hospital and you, you leave your bed at home to make sure that you're with your teammates at the Final Four in Seattle. And then this year when you knew that you were told the news that your, your career is done, instead of pouting or becoming a, a, a hermit, you continue to give. You continue to be one of the first ones in the practice gym, one of the first ones off the bench to give a high five, to, to be there for your teammates, to be selfless. And that's what Badger Volleyball is about, is about um, when you get knocked down, bringing it, getting yourself, picking yourself back up, dusting yourself off, and be there for the people that you love and you care about. That spirit that when things aren't going your way, what do you like there? And everybody saw what you, what you valued and how much you loved this, your teammates and how much you were willing to be there even when things were, were going down for you. Uh, that's not a story of tragedy, it's a story of inspiration. Thank you. She inspires me to work hard. She's one of the hardest working people I've ever met, um, both academically and on the court. She'll definitely be remembered as the great server, great in practice, great as a friend, great on and off the court. I just want to thank KT for um, always being there for me. She's She's been someone that I've confided in since I've gotten here, someone that lifts my spirit, someone that I can just cry to, someone that I can laugh with. Um, she really is my best friend. KT Queen Cavas, the spirit that you, the unbridled enthusiasm, your positive life spirit that you brought on a daily basis, um, set the tone for every day in the gym and outside the gym. This can do energy, um, it's unmeasurable. I mean, it's just teams don't have the successes they do without people bringing some fresh energy and life. And when you're doing that with um, the entire time that you're having to battle your body and try to stay healthy and be able to practice the way that you did. And it's one of the things that most people don't know is how banged up you've been these past couple of years, but the perseverance 
um, that you show. It's incredible. Uh, thank you for everything that you've done and, uh, and how you've led. Ellen has influenced me more than she will ever know. Um, my freshman year was rough, but, and I think she saw that, and she actually asked to meet with me and talk to me about what she could do and how I was feeling, and she really connected with me at that moment. I think Ellen's legacy is, um, she really is like the epitome of maxing out um, her last two years here, especially after her um, freshman and sophomore year. She's really made an effort um, to be the best player she can be and to be the best outside she can be for this team. She's given me the greatest gift of being the best teammate she could to me, and I'm just forever in debt to her. You know, I, I think back to my first phone call that I had with her two years ago when, uh, when I introduced myself and uh, she said, glad to meet you. You know, I'm not very passionate about volleyball and I'm thinking about jumping out for the track team. <laughs> You know, that's obviously inspiring this new coach uh, uh, immensely. You know, and, and then you, you see the metamorphosis that she took to becoming an All-American, becoming the all-time attempts uh, leader here. And, um, you know, and the drive and the force that uh, she became uh, at the end of her senior year. It's, it's what you hope. The players are just, they're all the way in. They're diving in head first. And Ellen, you've done that. She's mama for the team, I would say. Uh, but she was the first person I met when I got here. She took me and I got to live with her. And uh, she just was such a comforting, um, companion for me every time I was feeling a little down or I was just really excited I always wanted to share it with her and we've grown so close over the year that uh, I'm really gonna miss her when she goes. I think she's one of the best teammates I have ever had. Uh, she's such a supportive person like she's always there when I need her. She helped me a lot when I came here. She has her teammates back. She's always there when you need her. She knows exactly how to talk to everyone. Um, she's competitive, but at the same time, she's incredibly strong because she's had to go through a lot of adversity, and she knows how to handle that. And um, she knows how to keep her pride in check and also when to bring it up and be confident. So I just say she, she's the model player that I would like to have around forever. Has there been anybody that has loved the game of volleyball more than Jules? You know, I, I think back of, you know, right after you got hurt and you know and it's devastating for everybody but just how excited you were to, to know that there was going to be a, another year um, and whether you played or not that fifth year but just how much you were going to bring to this to this program your love of the team your love of the game your love of the program and then you're behind the scenes talking of with, with individual players, the leadership that you brought. Um, thank you for that. Uh, behind every great program is, is passion and enthusiasm, and you certainly have that uh, for every single one of your teammates and for this program every single day. Her grit is just amazing. I mean, she gets up to hit so many balls that you would never expect anyone to get up to hit. So I think just she inspires me with her passion and her drive for the game. Uh, she's such a nice, sweet person. Like, she smiles all the time. Like, she's really funny. Like, she makes me laugh every single time I see her. She'll always push you and ask for more. And you're willing to do it because it's Dominique and you, you'll do anything for her been asked a lot these past few weeks, how does a 5'11 middle blocker in the Big Ten become a, an All-American? And it's a great question because there's not a lot of them out there. It's skill, it's athleticism, it's hard work, it's attention to detail. It's, uh, it's every day trying to find ways to get better. And uh, you did all that. You were, you have been an inspiration to a lot of the kids here that uh, have grown up watching you play over the years. And uh, undersized middles everywhere. Um, 
you've, uh, you've had a great, great, great career. It's been an honor to play with Courtney these last two years. She's taught me so much, um, not only as a role model, but as a player as well. And I think one of my favorite memories was actually the Big Ten Championship. Uh, it was the game point, and she was the only senior in the front row, or hitting at that time, and um, I just wanted to get her the ball, and she got that last kill, and it was just, she started tearing up immediately. She was just so happy and so excited, and all these emotions pouring in at once, so it was, that was a super cool thing to see. In my opinion, Court um, will be remembered as someone who's transformed into a tremendous leader. I think that she's really looked herself in the mirror and made changes to make other people better. I'm sitting in my office and there is this picture of you with your hands above your head and your backs to the camera. And the only thing I can think about looking at that picture is you did it. Uh, you did it. You, you became the leader this program needed. Uh, you became the leader that you wanted to be. You took this program, you helped take this program where it was destined to go. Uh, and you did it in a selfless way, a driving way, um, willing to do anything uh, for this team and your teammates, changing positions, learning new skill sets. You did it. To the entire senior class, it's, uh, you know, this is, it's hard to talk to you guys and about you guys without getting emotional. Uh, is it, has there been a, a class that has meant more to a program, that has given more to a program that's helped change a program more than than you guys. It'd be hard to believe that there is one. It's you know I I, I think of you guys as people, and it kind of reminds me of this uh, probably movie none of you guys have seen, but this '80s movie called The Breakfast Club, where these different personalities come together, and by the end of the movie they just kind of hit it off, and people from all all different walks of life and incredibly different types of people. And it, you guys kind of remind me of that. It's a group that's very, very different from each other. The group that came together and, uh, and were able to help move mountains um, and just take this, take this program to, to places that uh, I'm not sure many people even dreamed of it at the time. And it was it's because of you guys, um, how, you, how you inspired a volleyball community and uh, in a city and a campus and the younger players behind you. You've set the bar very, very high. I couldn't love you more, I couldn't thank you more, and I couldn't be more proud.